Are you okay? Are you okay with Erwan saying that he is not going to do a ceasefire? He didn't say that at all. He's meeting, and he's uh, meeting today with some of our representatives. Uh, Mike Pence is leaving today, as you know. We needed to take an extra day for security reasons. Uh, but Mike is leaving. Uh, Mike Pompeo will be meeting also, uh, who's here right now with us, and he's going to be joining the meeting. We have uh, a lot of great people over there. We'll see. In the meantime, uh, our soldiers are not in harm's way, as they shouldn't be, as two countries fight over land. That has nothing to do with us. And uh, the Kurds are much safer right now, but the Kurds know how to fight. And as I said, they're not angels. They're not angels. If you take a look, you have to go back and take a look. But they fought with us. Uh, we paid a lot of money for them to fight with us, and that's okay. Uh, they did well when they fought with us. They didn't do so well when they didn't fight with us. Uh, when I refused to allow the Americans a year and a half ago to fight with the Kurds against Iraq, I said, wait a minute. This country, stupidly, just spent a fortune on fighting for, with, around Iraq. Nobody knows how they spent it. But they spent, actually, we're in the Middle East now for $8 trillion, if you can believe that stupidity. But in Iraq, we're in for probably five and a half trillion. So they're telling me, wait a minute, we just spent five and a half trillion fighting in Iraq and with Iraq. And now we're supposed to spend money to fight with the Kurds against Iraq. I said, no, thank you. So what happens is when I said we're not going to fight with the Kurds, the Kurds left. They didn't want to fight against Iraq, which right now isn't the greatest fighting force in the world. That happened twice. The Kurds actually are pulling back substantially from Turkey. And Syria is pulling in. Syria probably will have a partner of Russia, whoever they may have. Uh, I wish them all a lot of luck. You know, Russia was involved in Afghanistan. It used to be called the Soviet Union. Now it's called Russia for a reason, because they lost so much money in Afghanistan that uh, they had a downsize, a very big downsizing. So if Russia wants to get involved with, the, uh, with Syria, that's really up to them. They have a, a problem with Turkey. They have a problem at a border. It's not our border. We shouldn't be losing lives over it. But again, we only had 28 soldiers. It was 26, 28. I got all different numbers. It ends up being 28 between the 26, 28, two people, and they're fully accounted for. So that's the story. It's very simple. And we're watching, and we're negotiating, and we're trying to get Turkey to do the right thing, because we'd like to stop wars regardless, whether Americans are in or whether they're not in. Uh, we want to see wars stop. That's a very important thing. On a humanitarian basis, we want to see that happen. So I view the situation on the Turkish border with Syria to be, for the United States, strategically brilliant. Our soldiers are out of there. Our soldiers are totally safe. They've got to work it out. Maybe they can do it without fighting. Syria is protecting the Kurds. Uh, that's good. Uh, we are uh, — and by the way, every player hates ISIS. Everybody we're talking about. Syria more than us. Russia more than us. They've done a big number on Russia. And we're over there fighting ISIS, but they're over there fighting ISIS, too. They can handle it. And they should handle it. We can fight our own battles on our own territories. But you have a lot of countries over there that ha hate ISIS as much as we do. In some cases, probably more. So they can take care of ISIS. We have them captured. The United States captured them. Some were released just for effect, to make us look a little bit like, oh, gee, we got to get right back in there. But you have a lot of countries over there that have power and that hate ISIS very much, as much as we do. So I think we're in a very strategically good position. I know the fake news doesn't make it look that way. Uh, but we have uh, — we've removed uh, all of our, as we said, 50 soldiers, but much less than 50 soldiers. Uh, they're now in a very, uh, very safe location, uh, heading into an even safer location. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.